Hey y'all! Welcome back to this channel where I apparently upload approximately three times a year. <laughs> uh, my name's Elise. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time. We're here to talk about the Beautylish Lucky Bag XL. Who's excited? Um, so presumably most people watching this know what this is already, but I'll explain briefly just in case. Um, essentially the lucky bag is like a mystery makeup bag where you pay a certain amount and then get like double the value of that um, in your box of mystery products from Beautylish. So they just do this every year. There are a couple different options. There's the regular bag, which is $75. There's this XL bag, which is $150. Um, and you're supposed to get $300 worth of product in the bag or more. So I got mine today. So exciting. Um, it came in this box with this cute design packaging. Um, I was going to wait and open it on camera for the first time and then I got really impatient <laughs> and already opened everything. But um, I thought I'd show you the box anyway. I know some people like to see it. It also comes with a little tag card thing to sort of explain what the lucky bag is. Um, it's cute, you know, the decorum of it all. So I got a bag uh, a couple years ago, two or three years ago, I got a regular size bag and it was incredibly lame and disappointing. <laughs> um, so I haven't gotten one in a few years. And honestly, like even videos I've seen of other people's unboxings from the past couple years have looked kind of lame and boring. So <laughs> I was hesitant to do it, but I thought this year especially I could use just like a little bit of fun and mystery and excitement and entertainment and even if the bag totally sucks I get to make a YouTube video roasting it anyway and that will be fun for me <laughs> so, um, so I just kind of went for it and I got the XL and here we are I've got to be honest with you though I'm kind of in shock um this is like a best case scenario bag for me at least um, I got nine items, four of the items I'm like ecstatic about, one of the items I'm like, this is great, and then two I'm like, eh, and then two I'm like, I'm gonna give these to somebody else. But of the five items that I'm like pumped about, the four and the one, um, it already like adds up to like close to $300 for those items alone. So it's a win. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with the things that I'm like pumped about. Um, the big ticket item I think most people would consider is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. So exciting! Okay, so um, if you have not been here before, you will not know that I'm a massive, massive Natasha Denona fan. And I don't have every single one of her palettes because that's insane and they're so expensive. <laughs> Um, but I do have a lot of the five pan minis. I have a couple of this size and I have a couple of like the big five pans. Like I don't have all her palettes. I do have many of them though. And so um, this was exciting because I don't have this. And here's the love palette. This came out last year. When this originally launched, I didn't get it because I'm not super into pink. And this of course has many pinks in it. But I am more recently into like a bruisey like red purpley kind of look like even kind of today's look is sort of like that um and this has like a lot of those like deeper cranberry purpley tones so um this is awesome i'm it, it's perfect too because it's exactly the type of item that i would not have bought myself but that i'm like incredibly excited to like use and have now um and this retails for 65 dollars so already i'm like okay sweet like we already recouped more than a third of the price of the bag um, on just the first item. So that is super exciting. The next like big ticket item, the Hourglass Sculpture Palette, also exciting. Um, it's a little bit tainted by the fact that Hourglass like refuses, like stubbornly lacks inclusivity. Like they know people are mad at them for coming out with these palettes for holiday in one shade every year. Like, why are they doing that? And then they recently came out with that trio that was like, look, we're like doing better, but it's like all re-promoted shades. Okay, so Hourglass is like annoying and I, I personally at the moment am not like purchasing from them, buying their new releases, et cetera, et cetera. 
But I have this now, and to be honest, I haven't used any of their face powders besides the blushes in years. I haven't like used any of their other powders because I remember being kind of like meh, feel like whatever about them. But it's been a while and these are so hyped, so hyped up. So I mean, I I'm still side-eyeing Hourglass, don't get me wrong, but I am looking forward to like getting to try these and seeing if like any of the hype is real. Like is it even worth being mad at Hourglass or should we just like forget they exist? You know what I mean? Like, should we encourage, like, do we want them to improve because we care about the product? Or should we just drop them off the face of the planet because the product's not that good anyway? Like, that's the decision that I need to make. <laughs> um, and so I'm, I am excited to try this and, and use it and see how I feel about it. Um, but yes, although I'm not otherwise purchasing from, purchasing from Hourglass at the moment, this um, for me is still very exciting because this also retails for $80.00. And I would not have bought it. <laughs> I would not have bought it for several reasons. One of those reasons being it's $80. Yeah, but it's still exciting to like get in this type of box. Okay, the third thing I'm super pumped about is this Charlotte Tilbury The Magic Cream Light Lightweight Moisturizer um, Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I really like Charlotte Tilbury's products, but I don't try a lot of her skincare because it's all really expensive <laughs> and like most of my skincare products are not pricey at all. Um, but this is kind of cool, like a little bit of SPF, probably wouldn't use just this for SPF, but SPF moisturizer, cute. It comes in this like, you know, white and gold with like this gorgeous pump. This is a product that when it came out, I was like very intrigued by but again it's pricey so I didn't pick it up this bottle first of all this bottle's huge it's a 50 ml bottle and this retails for $100 one who I <laughs> oh yeah I would not have bought this <laughs> I don't know who is buying a hundred dollar Charlotte Tilbury magic cream People are doing that, of course, but I am not one of those people. Anyway, regardless, I'm excited to I'm excited to try it. Like I hope I like it. That would be cool. Like this is again, this is like the perfect thing to get in a box like this because I would never have bought this for a hundred dollars. But like getting all of this plus a bunch of other stuff for $150, like, oh, okay, now we're talking, you know. So um, that's exciting. I'm excited. I'm super excited to try that. And then the last thing I'm super, super, super pumped about is this brush. This is a Sonia G Crease One. I think most of the time these boxes come with either a Sonia G brush or a Wayne Goss brush. Um, I like those brushes as well. And this is really exciting. I got my first Sonia G brushes this past year, like in 2020. I have two of them. They were very expensive, but they're very, very nice. They work extremely well, super high quality. Like it was super worth it for me, especially considering they're supposed to last like years and years and years, um, but they're quite pricey. So I'm super stoked to have another Sonia G brush um, to try out and add to the, the little collection over there. Um, so this is like super exciting. So these four items alone, I believe retail for $277. I'll double check my math on that, but um, like I'm already satisfied <laughs> with these four items and there's five other items. So yeah, like I was kind of blown away with like, I'm saying like so much, I'm very sorry, but I was really blown away with that and there's still more. So the next product I'm like pretty excited about, but not like over the moon like I am with these four but still happy about is the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Um, again, I think most boxes come with um, a Good Molecules product because it's a Beautylish brand. Um, and this skincare brand is like pretty inexpensive. This retails for I believe $16. And sorry if you can hear the children playing outside. Um, <laughs> this retails for I believe $16. And I have used up a whole jar of this before. I had this and I really like it both for like light exfoliating of the face and also like the back and the shoulders, um, like in the shower. It's really nice for that. Fair warning that it's, it smells weird. Like it smells really strange. And I don't, like you, you just kind of have to deal with it. Like it doesn't go away. Like it smells really odd, um, but that's okay. That's fine. 
because I, I do I do quite like the the effect of it. It is kind of a weird product, like it's a powder. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you dump some into your hands, rub it around with some water, and then it comes into like this like thin paste that you can use. So um, not like the most exciting thing in the world, but I was considering repurchasing this soon actually. So I'm like not mad at all to have it again um, because I do really like this product. Okay. So now for the things that are like, meh, just okay. So <laughs> I have two like just okay things, um, but that I'm like still like not mad at by any means. So the first thing is this r and Co. Spiritualized Dry Shampoo Mist. Cool, man. It's a dry shampoo. It's a $14 little bottle of dry shampoo. Um, not like so interesting or anything, but um, I'll certainly use it up and now I won't have to buy another dry shampoo for a while. So it, I mean, it won't go to waste. Cool, I'm happy to have it, that's fine. And the other thing is this Holly Frog Como Poppy Renewal Scrubby Wash. No idea. Um, <laughs> this is supposed to be a light exfoliant for your face and presumably your body as well. I think that that would be fine. Um, I really like the packaging. Like this is a really cute little tube. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but um, I'll happily give this a try again. I'm. I'll use it, like I'll totally use it up and it'll save me some money because I won't have to buy a different one. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, very cute. This retails for $40. Yeah, definitely would not have bought this, <laughs> um, but it's cute and I'll use it. So sure, why not? Not mad at it at all. <laughs> um, and then the last two things I'm probably going to like send off to a friend or something because I just... I'm not going to use them. So the first thing is this Wayne Goss Essential Eye Cold Pencil in Obsidian. Basically just like a black pencil liner. And nothing wrong with this product at all, except for the fact that I just don't use pencil liners. Almost ever. <laughs> I do a, a liquid liner and then I don't put anything in my waterline, like ever. So <laughs> I just won't use this and I do already have a black pencil liner that I like can use if I did want to use one. Um, and so I just simply do not need this. Uh, this retails for $14 and yeah, I'll probably just end up giving this to a friend who is interested in the brand because I know a lot of people are interested in Wayne Goss's makeup line. And then the last thing is this ABH matte lipstick in the shade Hollywood. Um, again, nothing like wrong with this per se, but I recall trying these back when they first released, which I think was a couple of years ago now. And I didn't like the formula. I didn't. I, I'm i pretty sure this is the formula that was so dry and tuggy and thick. Ugh, I don't, ugh, I think I hated this formula. <laughs> I think I hated this formula. I know that there are people that like it though. So again, I'll probably just find a friend who wants this. Um, I just, especially this past year, have gotten really, really picky with lip products and like right now I'm wearing the Chantecai Lip Veil and Tamarind. I love this formula because it's super thin and super, super comfortable and moisturizing. And like you can't feel it on the lips and it's just like comfy to wear all day. I really have like no tolerance for uncomfortable lip products anymore. <laughs> And so I'm not going to waste this by trying it. I think I'm just going to hand it off. So I think the overall retail of all of it together was like 340 something. I'll throw it up on the screen because I don't remember. Um, but yeah, with those four initial products plus the Good Molecules exfoliating, that's like 297 or something like that. And amazing. That's perfect. Like I got the double value of what I paid with things that I like really enjoy and will use and am like very excited to have and then a couple extras and then you know a couple things I'll give off to a friend no biggie you know you've got to like go into these lucky ba bag things knowing that you're not gonna like every single product it's a total lottery you have to like you can't go in expecting to love every single product but I think this was from what I've seen, the best bag I could have gotten comparing to like all previous years that I've seen videos of and stuff. This is perfect. Like I, yeah, I couldn't, I like couldn't have picked better items myself, to be honest with you. 
So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this year's bag. Kind of a surprise. I really truly was expecting to make this a roast video. <laughs> I was fully expecting to be disappointed and just like trash the lucky bag <laughs> in this video, which would have been like a funny, fun video also. But no, I'm really happy with it. And yeah, this definitely encourages me to get another one next year because this was really fun. It's like, you know, you're paying for the items, of course, but for me, it's like you're also paying for the, like, the mystery and the excitement and, like, you know, just having it be, like, an, an extra little thing that's, like, fun, you know? So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited to see other people's videos. What did other people get? Did anybody get the same stuff I got? Um, and, yeah, that's all I have for you. If you're interested in knowing what I'm up to or following me, you can, of course, subscribe here or you can follow me on Instagram. It's elise.jpeg. I'm way more active on Instagram <laughs> than I am on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, um, so come hang out more if you want or if you don't. That's cool, too. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.